Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to My Deep Guide. And in this video, I am going to be checking out something that I've been looking for for a long, long time. And we're talking about the Tab X, so the 13.3 inch super awesome device from Books, which is a powerhouse and everything. And I love the device, I really love, but I don't really utilize it as much as I want to and as much as it deserves to be utilized for one simple fact. I write a lot and that's one of the things that I need on these devices. And unfortunately the Tab X uh, surface, writing surface is of the smoother type. So it doesn't have paper like surface like the Note Air 3C for example has. And that offers for this type of smooth writing experience which I, I can't be okay with. It's not necessarily terrible, it's just my own personal preference is that I don't like it, it's not inviting and as a consequence it's I'm gonna reach out for a different device, a device that I interact, I have a more satisfactory tactile interaction with than with the Tab X. And since then, I was trying to find a screen protector that doesn't ruin the reflectivity, does improve the writing uh, capability and is not super thick or something like that. There were many that I've tried only one that I've covered because it was sent to me, that was Dudru. And I've mentioned clearly that it's, uh, yeah, it's great paper-like type of performance, but it is thick and it ruins the uh, reflectivity to the degree that it was not the right fit for me, right? But there weren't that many alternatives. And I've tried, uh, I think four up until, yeah, including Dudru and none of them uh, I liked. The others I didn't like at all, so I didn't want to even cover them at all. Uh, and now I've tried this one, the Healing Shield, the Peach kind of version of it, because they have three different ones, and you really have to be kind of careful which one you get. Um, nobody sent this to me, I just did my own research and bought it on my own to try it out. So, yeah, let's see how does that go and why am I actually making a video on it. But before we start, if you do like the content that I do and you do like the independence of My Deep Guide, then please consider checking out mydeepguide.com shop where you can find MDO and MMP, which are hyperlinked organizing files that help you, uh, in the case of MDO, My Daily Organizer, help you organize your yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily organizing and journaling professional or personal needs. In the case of MMP, which is My Deep Guide Meeting Planner, helps you centralize, simplify and organize all of your meeting planning needs. If any of that sounds like something that you might want to check out, visit the uh, links to the playlists in the description below for each of these products where you can see in detail what they are, what they are not and whether or not they are fit for your needs. Yeah, and then check it out. And now onwards with the video. All right, so this video is gonna be filmed a little bit differently uh, because I can't really start applying a uh, screen protector in my usual light box because of the dust and, and yeah, I don't have access to room that I need for this kind of stuff. So it's gonna be a little bit different like this. Excuse the difference of lighting in the shadows and stuff like that. That's the conditions that I have currently. Here is my, uh, yeah, my uh, Tab X, which I want to love more and I want to use more than I am currently using it. Yeah, recently these types of, uh, yeah, screen protectors appeared, which are made for Tab X. So I don't need to cut it to size or anything like that. This is something that's supposed to simply work. And uh, they have three different types. This is, um, I think they have a blue one, a gray one, and a peach colored one. This is the peach colored one. Uh, blue one, I think is uh, really matte and really paper-like. And the reviews are basically saying that it's too much so that it's fuzzing up the image way too much. The other one, the gray one, is not really something that you should consider because it's super shiny. And that this one is like in between. So this one has paper texture, anti-glare, anti-fingerprints, and three uh, 4H hardness, but it should be good enough to actually kind of use normally. So um, let's open it up, see what, it's, what we get. And most importantly, let's try and apply it on this one and then see what we get. 
let's open it up and uh, yeah let's see what does the packaging contain and how easy it is to open up so okay we get everything in one go i guess nope that's that's it so here we go we have the screen protector inside with one and two sides well that's a lot of fun um incidentally it has a cutout let's see if the there we go the camera can pick it up so the cutout is there so any of the previous max devices so for example max 3 lumi lumi 2 and tab x of course will work so that's okay and it seems to fit okay uh let's see what else do we get we got instructions and the instructions we will check uh, and try to follow them so that we get good results and we get anti-dust stickers application kind of card ish thing and wipe clean okay so fairly standard stuff doesn't make me terribly confident that i'm gonna be super successful and bubble free with this but hey we can try right that's the whole point so let's try and yeah let's first check the instructions that there's no surprises here all right so it's standard steps uh, wipe clean use the dust to pick up the dust particles um, but this one aligns this way here right so we got one is the back peel so that's that one and then two is the front um, and once you actually start peeling it off you're going to be peeling it off from this bottom side so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to turn flip around the device like this so that when i start peeling it off i can actually use this to apply it and hopefully uh do something and yeah let's just be clear i'm really not sure that i'm going to be able to get a good result here uh, mainly because there's one thing they, they didn't include a microfiber uh cloth in this packaging and that's not something that i see often <laughs> usually you get a microfiber cloth uh in all of these that's something that you normally always have so i'm using one that i have just to wipe the screen clean first dry clean right so i'm dry cleaning it um so that we can then use the uh other one and I just want to, yeah, get my chances uh, of applying this well in these conditions. Good. Yes, I know you can do the bathroom trick and you can do all sorts of things. But uh, yeah, I want to do this in an ordinary way. So let's commence and see what happens. We got cleaning wipe, two of them, dust removing, oil cleaning. Okay. So we'll just use one and see if that's enough. It's of a decent size, so that's good. Usually they give you tiny ones, which wouldn't really work for a device of this size. So let's try and clean this well. I'm gonna use the second one as well. All right, so it's clean. Let's use the dust sticker here okay now i'm gonna use the off camera and off away from the device i'm simply wiping the uh, underlining surface of the screen protector even though that's something that i'm going to be removing it's going to lie down on top of the screen so i want to wipe away any kind of dust residue from that as well so it doesn't you know fall onto the device so i'm gonna try now and start the application so it needs to be aligned well okay I'm probably gonna get into the frame here because I need to align it. Okay, let's 
so we're starting this process and as I'm putting it in here I'm looking at bubbles if they are forming and this is of a really bad quality this one it's really smudgy and I'm trying to push out the bubbles as much as I can right um, and I'm sorry about the camera angle but right now a much bigger focus for me is to try and get this applied correctly which is really difficult on devices that are this large can you imagine putting this on a i don't know big ass tv <laughs> so far going okay now it's starting to be a bit easier because i have a bit more control but i can already see that i'm gonna have some issues getting there now what i'm gonna do towards the end is i'm gonna get the corner first one of the corners first I'm going to try <clears throat> and get it. I do hope that any of this is in frame. Because <laughs> like, right now, I'm not looking at the camera at all. Especially because this part here is a little bit important. Because I want to get it as good as I can. Wait. Oh, okay. I don't want it to go yet. There. Okay. So, let's see. All right. So, we got this and now I'm just going to take this main peeling thing off and finally see what the screen protector is like and let's see if we can push away these little things okay so this seems to be okay-ish i do have a couple of bubbles hopefully they're just bubbles and they'll settle down after a while yep these seem to be bubbles the surface is really really good this is basically right immediately i can see that the surface is really nice and the reflectivity is not terrible so this one is starting to actually give a nice type of feel and i want to now just kind of go through it like this and then see these uh, bubbles that I have. I have two. If they're going to go away after a while or not. So that's the main problem here that I currently have. I have two bubbles. I'm going to try and kind of move them out. And press them to see if they're moving. Yeah, they are. And also I'm going to set this for yeah, 24 hours just let it kind of do its thing because these bubbles may go away after 24 hours so for now the first application seems to be okay I'm fairly happy with it I'm happy with the surface here I'm gonna be testing with the writing and everything once yeah those 24 hours go by and then I see actually what is the reality of the situation with the application but so far yeah it's okay i just hope that i can get rid of these two 
bubbles uh, yeah when the time passes all right so it's been a day now and I am taking a look at the application of uh, the screen protector itself and most of them uh, most importantly there were two big uh, bubbles that I bigger bubbles that I had here they are now gone there's only one left here hopefully the lights can catch it right here um, but yeah just upon touching it now it seems to have disappeared so I'm really really surprised that I was able to actually apply this fairly successfully in completely unoptimal conditions that you've seen which is not dust regulated on camera uh, having different angles and things like that and still and a super large surface and still it seems like that I've managed to get it well I can't find any bubbles here now one thing that I would uh, that makes me super happy <laughs> because it's it's a tricky thing to apply a whole 13.3 inch thing uh, without any problems so that makes me happy before I actually got get into checking this out and testing it uh, one bit of advice that I would give you one mistake that I made something that would have been much easier for me was if you preload a black pure black image onto the device that you're applying a screen protector to that's gonna allow you to see uh, individual dust spots way way better than if you had what I had which is something like this which is all like this and then you can't really see it even if it's like a pure white I think the pure black one will definitely help with uh, determining if you have some dust particles so that you can collect them with the dust sticker all right with that out of the way um, I want to test it out with the reflectivity and the reflectivity is um, okay it's not it's better than other screen protectors that I've tried right so that is the important part for me and these are super bright lights right um, the main problem that I always have with screen protectors is they do have sharper reflections usually than the matte screen does have here and we can notice that on this area here which doesn't have the screen protector can you see that how big of a difference that actually is so the native uh, yeah native surface of the uh, of the max tab x, tab x sorry is a true ag kind of a glass type of surface i guess but and and that basically diffuses the details of the reflections so that is something that you're going to lose no matter what you do and you can just clearly see you know how much details you get to see in reflectivity on a screen protector so, so far i haven't found a single one that doesn't have that problem but if i compare other screen protectors to this one this one actually performs a lot better so that's a good thing now while it's powering on i'm just going to talk about what are the e the important aspects for me um, of this screen protector and why i was looking for it well main number one is the writing feel because i don't like how smooth the native surface actually feels and no matter what type of pen i have used it was always meh it's just a little bit too slippery for those who are wondering what are the, what's the pen that i'm using i'm using a samsung s6 pen here with their own hard uh, gray sharp nib and that is because i've tried this um yesterday and that was the combination that i liked the best so in this case I'm just checking out okay how is the responsiveness of the touch input and everything and most importantly how is the writing with the new screen protector and I really really like it and you get the scratchy feel as well As you can hear it's not too scratchy and writing finally feels 
excellent. So finally, I have the excellent, excellent, excellent feel on my Tab X. So the first aspect of why I was going through all of this was trying to improve the writing feel of my Tab X. That is a big check mark here. So let me just uh, go back. The touch inputs are good and responsive. Let's open up a document with small fonts and let's see how the readability is. And the readability remains good. I think it remains quite, quite good with this uh, screen protector. So yeah, so I, I got excellent writing, which was the number one point. It didn't ruin the readability and the sharpness of the uh, content on the screen and the touch inputs and everything is, uh, yeah, the device is as responsive as it was before, because that's another thing that can happen when you add um, screen protector. And as an added bonus, the application is absolutely perfect. I don't have a single bubble. I don't have a single dust particle that I can see or anything really. And that makes me a very happy puppy. Well, okay, I'm actually really, really happy that finally I do have a decent, really, really pleasant writing surface on my Tab X without the reflectivity and other stuff that I really like about it completely ruined. Yes, reflectivity is worse than it was, but I've learned to accept that that's how it is. You, you can't, you simply can't have the same type of performance with any of these screen protectors uh, as the true, true AG glass that it has on top. So that being said, it's a compromise, yes, but I really, really do like it. So this is something that I'm definitely going to give a shot at uh, working with more because yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, for me, the tactile responsiveness and the interaction that I have with the device is really important when writing. And um, this is my personal preference. I like that rougher per paper-like type of surface, and this seems to be delivering quite, quite well. I'll also make like probably like um, after a couple of months, maybe a callback video to just report back on this one, how it performs and what it's like. And I'm really impressed that, uh, yeah, that I was able to apply a 13.3 inch screen protector without any bubbles at all. And that's not to my awesome skills or anything like that, because I, I don't have them. It's just talking about, again, the quality of this, uh, yeah, screen protector. So yeah, if you're looking to improve your Tab X writing performance and add some good uh, uh, writing feel to it, then I strongly encourage you to check this one out. I'm going to include a Amazon, uh, what's it called, affiliate link to it as well in the description below. So if you do use that, then I get, I think, one or two percent kickback of that or something like that. So I do get a tiny bit of money there. So if you want to support the channel that way, you can do that as well. Or if you really don't want it, then you can just Google this one and go for the peach one and then you get it that way. Either way, if you are looking to uh, improve your writing feel on the Tab X, this one is the one that I went for and the one that worked well for me. So for what that's worth, I'm sharing that info with you. I hope that you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.